first off, I wanted to say this series is inspired by El Toro Line's problematic coasters, but is not as technical. So these two series are about a 90% difference from each other. But with that said, enjoy the first episode of Failed Creations. This is a brand new series on the channel called Failed Creations. It's all about roller coasters that are maintenance nightmares and have bad accidents in the past. And at the end of each video, I will say if I think the coaster should be bulldozed or not. So this first episode is all about the maintenance nightmare Kinder Car. My god, Kinder Car has a lot of problems, so let's start with problem 1. Enjoy. Breakdowns is basically Kinder Car's nickname at this point. Every time I go, it's down like 4 times an hour. I do get that it's an older intimate and the hydraulic launches play a massive factor in breakdowns, but at this point Kindercar just needs an LSM launch or something. This roller coaster has not had many accidents, but the ones it has had are not good. I'm, ma I'm reading the accidents off of Wikipedia, so bear with me. On June 8th, 2005, a boat failed inside a trough through which the launch cable travels. This caused the liner to come loose, creating friction on the cable and preventing the train from accelerating to the correct speed. This isn't as bad as this isn't that bad of a one. At least I think maybe I'm just not reading it right. But a boat take a boat falling or falling out of level is not good because if one of the boats on the tower came off there was no saving it you'd have to run because that that tower would come crashing down this is in no way the fault of six like your intimate it's really the fault of mother nature there is nothing else to say really besides Good riddance. Now, no, I'm joking. But anyways, onto the last accident, I believe. Nope, I got that wrong. But this is the last accident I'll mention because I don't want this video to just be accidents. But basically, cars suffer damage because of Hurricane Irene. All I can Today is Frig Hurricanes, because once again, this was not the fault of Six Flags nor Intamin, it's once again the fault of Mother Nature. This is not a problem to us coast enthusiasts, but it is sure as hell a problem to the park itself. So I'll try to explain it in a way park employees would. Basically, when rollbacks happen, the ride itself needs to be reset because the tower has a sensor and if the train doesn't cross the sensor in a certain amount of, the, of time, the whole ride needs to be reset. Zoom and Zorro is a great drop tower, but not when it comes to Kinder Car. Because for a while, Kinder Car and Zoom and Zorro can now run at the same time. And that is because, from what I heard, if Kindercar and Zoom and Zorro ran at the same time, there's a massive power outage or something that goes on throughout Great Adventure, I believe. So that's why Kindercar and Zoom and Zorro can run at the same time. So for the finale, do I think Kindercar should be removed despite all the problems? No. I do not, because I feel like ever since 2019, they fixed Kindercar's reliability because it's been way more reliable than it was in 2020, and it's an icon, because I know a lot of coaster enthusiasts who say they want to ride the world's tallest roller coaster. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, consider subscribing, because I offer tons of higher quality ultra HD point of views, reviews, and well, you'll just have to subscribe to see what else I offer. But anyways, I'm Horizon Thursday and I'll see you guys on the horizon. Peace!